father is going to be ill. Therefore, you or, you know, and or the oldest child will need to take care of, you know, the cooking and the cleaning and, you know, and, and taking care of the younger ones. Why? Because you're working class Irish and, you know, luxuries like gender norms are for the rich, right? Okay, so, uh, yeah. Oh, da my first ex-Mormon ex-boyfriend is yeah like i think yeah he said like um well first off he had been out of the church about 15 years by the time he and i were together which was in my early 20s which he, he was about 10 years older which was more significant you know um which was more significant age difference at that age but at the same time i'm like eh, it you know, we worked for as long as we did, so that's that's the important thing, right? Um, and then what happened was, um, yeah, like he said, he'd um, most of his um, most of the time he'd been out of the church, he'd been living with various bandmates who taught him basically taught him how to you know cook and clean like a regular adult. Ex Mormon boy number two, um. He kind of figured out how to cook and clean on his own somewhat, but first off, he he's to my knowledge, he still lives in a building owned by his parents, and they charge him half the rent that every other unit gets, right? So, and um, and just to make sure his unit is kept up to code, uh, twice a year they send out a cleaning lady to his unit that. You know, like he doesn't have to pay anything out of pocket for, and um, but uh, but yeah, like aside from that, like he's kind of learned how to cook and clean, but mostly from television commercials, which y you'd think w would like it, that's fucking bonkers, right? I never thought this kind of person existed in the world. Like he was kind of horrified to learn that a I barely use paper towels, like. I have paper towels pretty much to scoop up cat vomit because every once in a while they will do that just because either they eat too fast or something, right? Um, so yeah, like I will use it to scoop up cat vomit and hairballs and then like I just throw the whole thing away, right? Because why not, right? I mean, granted, if I am ever out of paper towels and I have to scoop up cat vomit. I do have a, um, not a dish rag, but I do have like a little cleaning cloth that, you know, I will designate for that until I can get a new roll of paper towels. But that's another story for another time. So then what happens is, um, so yeah, there's, um, so yeah, like ex Mormon boy number two was like horrified to learn that like I barely use paper towels. I absolutely loathe any of the like disposable wipes and a Swiffer and all of that. Like he thought it was disgusting that I have a string mop, you know, the kind that you, you know, submerge and twist off. And I mean, to be fair, like mine has a detachable head that is like, you know, I can throw it in the washing machine and then, you know, and then either the dryer or let it drip dry when I, uh, when I hang up my laundry. He was kind of horrified that I hang up my laundry as well, like, you know, like, or that I prefer to when I can. Um, like, he would always make little snarky comments about how my clothes, you know, how it's kind of amazing that my clothes aren't covered in bird shit all the time. And, like, like, when he kept doing that, even though, like, I clearly, you know, seemed unhappy with this, like, that's, that's kind, of, kind of when I knew that he had a very low opinion of, um, of me in spite of everything. But, uh, but yeah, ex-Mormon number three, he is the one who made me swear off ex-Mormons for the rest of my, I can't do it anymore. I just can't. I don't have the patience for that. The boy has no idea what he's doing, and yet is somehow convinced he does. But yeah, ex-Mormon number one, this was like his favorite band, uh, Changelings. Like the first couple times I listened to them, I'm like, oh yeah, I see how he and I lasted as long as we did, which wasn't all that long to be honest, but it was longer than I expected. 